What's up my gamers, this is Autobot and welcome to another Budget Beast video. This time around we're going to have our first elite player for our Budget Beast videos and this is 88 overall wide receiver team and we got him Thielen. He goes for around 20,000 coins in an auction house, but I found him to be pretty comparable to Alshon Jeffrey. If you take a look at the stats, the flashback Alshon Jeffrey clearly has the highest stats in the most categories, but if you take a closer look they're actually more similar than you think. Adam Thielen has pretty much over 90 stats and most of the receiving stats except for speed and route running and you can actually bump up that route running to 90 if you go to tier 2 chain mover. Another thing about Adam Thielen, he has pretty decent run block with 66 although Alshon is a little bit better. Alshon also is a little bit after, uh, better with the ball because he has better stiff arm, better ball carry vision and spin move even though I found that Adam Thielen has some decent juke moves on his own. We're going to take a look at some film at Adam Thielen to see how he stacks up and see if you should bring him on your team. Alright, let's take a look. What surprised me the most about Adam Thielen was his effectiveness in the run game. I mean, once he got a hold onto the DB, there was no letting go until the play was over. That allowed me to spring a lot of runs to the outside because I knew that this corner wasn't coming down for a block shed and tackling my running back. Like this play here where he goes on to hold on to the safety who normally have a higher block shed than the corners and allows me to spring Jamal Charles for a rushing touchdown. What also surprised me about Adam Thielen's run game or effectiveness in the run game was how often that he put DBs on the ground. Like these next two plays right here, he's going to put the corner on the ground and then go to the second level for a block. He may have missed the block there but putting the DB on the ground is great. And this play right here, the user clicks onto the DB and is still unable to get away from his grabs. He's A plus in the run game if you ask me. Now here comes the most important thing for a wide receiver, getting open and getting the ball. I mean he's a pretty good route runner and he's pretty great at making the catch, especially those tough catches where you hit a possession catch or he's going to catch the ball and then get hit right after because a lot of players are starting to drop those nowadays. And as you can see Adam Thielen is definitely making those catches. He's a good route runner, although if you put him up against the likes of Deion Sanders or somebody like that, then of course he's going to get shut down. But if you use him effectively, he'll be open. I found him as most effective receiving in the red zone. That 6-2 height and decent jump is pretty good. Now, earlier I talked about his moves af after the catch, and as you can see here, he he's, has pretty decent moves after the catch. He can juke all right, and he not easy. he's not hard to take down, but he isn't the easiest wide receiver to take down. And even though he only has 89 speed, he's able to burn the defense if you get the right angle. Now, what I think of how pe most people should use Adam Thielen is if you want a solid number three receiver or slot receiver so that you can get some blocks downfield, or if you need another number one for your farm team or your budget squad. That, make that makes it it for this video. If you like the content, you can like and subscribe if you want to. But if you don't, you don't have to either. I'll see you guys around next time.